When you think about what makes a university great, it's really not a homogenous community. It's a diverse community that does care an awful lot about underrepresented populations. And particularly in our STEM disciplines, women had been underrepresented. And even in the Tepper School, we have seen significant growth in terms of the yield in women. We've worked very hard at what happens on campus when women come on any of our, our programs and so one of the first things we did which I thought was brilliant is we got our women students to address our faculty in their regular faculty meetings and talk through what has made them feel inclusive and what hasn't and using examples from the professors who are in that classroom and so it, it was in a way really identifying best practices and it allowed faculty to understand how men and women can potentially experience a very different classroom. It's really great to see like so many like girls just like me like getting out and like, pursuing their dreams and I, I, I love how it's so equal this time and it especially means a lot since engineering is like uh, typically like not super not that many women in that field and we're t uh, traditionally underrepresented so it's really awesome to be in like my physics and math and like intro classes and like there's so many girls just raising their hands speaking up just like me. They're certainly seeing Carney Mellon perhaps differently than maybe some of their predecessors. I've got to say, you know, we're pretty proud of the advances that we're making and I think that it makes a difference in the university community. I can't tell you how many faculty have reiterated how important it is to have women, you know, represented in a way where the strengths of those students come out. The biggest change we implemented um, was in the fall of 2015. We introduced this new core education, um, which really aims to develop students as a you know, holistic manner, as scholars, professionals, um, global citizens and, and engaged citizens, uh, and as well as people with a sense of wellness and balance. So it's a really holistic sense of education as opposed to just looking at the, the academic or scholarly uh, side of, of an education. When I came for Admitted Students Day, it was actually my first time on campus. And I got to sit one-on-one -on -one with a College of Science student from Virginia. After that, I actually, through a family friend, got to talk to a woman named Apiksha Atal. I sat down with her for about an hour and a half, and she is a biology major and an English major, and so she is completely crossing the spectrums of disciplines. I saw myself in them, and I saw how they worked, and I really saw like my processes reflected in theirs. And I also saw them doing wildly successful things, um, and that made me really hopeful that I could one day do it too. There's no better time to be an undergraduate admission, quite frankly, and, and I think no better place than at Carnegie Mellon.